What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and today we have a ton of Marvel news to go over. If you are wondering when we are going to be getting that trailer for the Marvels and whether or not the movie is said to be good or not, and if you're wondering when that Loki season two trailer is coming and what the deal is with Jonathan Major since he got arrested, we'll be breaking both of these down in this video today. Plus we have news about another Marvel Studios delay and we have some news about the end the Guardians of the Galaxy. And James Gunn has made a few recent comments about whether or not Rocket Raccoon is going to be dying in the movie. And whereas before we thought that he was going to be just fine, after these comments we're kind of wondering if he is actually safe or not. But we'll break it all down in this video. And if you're new and you love Marvel and want to stay up to date, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also comment on videos to enter the giveaway. We're giving away things like a PS5, Xbox Series X, some Marvel Legends items, some DC items as well. The winner gets to pick and we'll pick a winner at the end of each month. Now, first, starting off with the Marvels, you may have heard that the trailer for the Marvels is going to be coming Tuesday, tomorrow, April 11th. Now, as far as we know so far, there isn't a specific time that this trailer is going to be dropping. At least we don't know. However, Marvel Studios in the past has been known to release trailers pretty early in the morning if nothing is going on at night, like a sporting event or some other big event. And as far as we're concerned right now, there's nothing too major happening on any of the channels that Disney owns, which leads me to believe that we could be looking at one of those early trailer drops. Although of course, Marvel Studios is not inclined to keep any type of trailer release schedule at all. Like I said, they have done this in the past. And in the morning trailer drops, we can pretty much expect it anytime between 7 a.m. Eastern time to 10 a.m. Eastern time, but like I said, they can pretty much do it whenever they want. Now, on top of this trailer release date announcement that is coming from Daniel RPK, there has been some talk about this movie. There's even been talk about the trailer. According to Grease Randolph, she tweeted, I heard this trailer is excellent, at least for fans of the characters. I'm excited. And I think a lot of fans are excited for this movie, more excited than the first Captain Marvel film. And there have been test screenings for this film. And based off of what we've heard from some insiders, it wasn't doing so hot. However, some people did say that it was actually quite good. So mixed reviews there. However, we do know that the movie is going through some major reshoots. And we know that right now Marvel Studios is focusing on making better quality films and TV shows. So I think we are expecting a pretty good movie here. And a Apparently, the trailer for it is also supposed to be pretty good. So look out tomorrow. If we hear anything else about a specific time, we'll be sure to tweet about it or put it on Instagram or do a community post. But then we have news about Loki season two and its trailer. For me, this is definitely one of my most anticipated trailers and shows coming up. And I think it is for a lot of fans as well. Now, as far as the Loki season two trailer goes, Grace Randolph tweeted yesterday, as for Loki two, the trailer is ready to go and we should get it in the next few weeks. Now, Secret Invasion is about to come out, and after that, Loki Season 2 is coming out, as far as Disney Plus shows are concerned. So if the trailer is ready to go, and it's coming out in a few weeks, that means that we most likely aren't getting a delay for Loki Season 2, which is great, because Marvel Studios has been going through a lot of delays right now. Again, always reminding, it's for a good cause to make everything better, but unfortunately things get delayed for that. Now there is a second part to Grace's tweet and she says, I checked with my sources and I hear no decision has been made yet regarding Jonathan Majors and he is in the teaser trailer for Loki season two. Now insider Charles Murphy also commented on this as well in replying to a tweet that said, I've seen some reports Majors is out as Kang. Have you heard anything in which Charles responded? I haven't heard a word about that at this point. Now, Jonathan Majors has not been charged as guilty yet, and his lawyer has released a bunch of statements stating that he is actually the victim in this and is not guilty. They have even released some text messages as well. Now, obviously, when you're a studio and you have an actor that's supposed to lead a franchise, essentially, as your main villain, and that actor gets arrested, it's obviously very concerning, and you have to wonder what you are going to do. Well, I do think Marvel Studios is going to wait until the court ruling, until the court rules on a decision on whether he is guilty or not. If he is not guilty, I'm sure Marvel Studios isn't really going to do anything. They're going to proceed as planned. However, if they decide he is guilty, well, that's when they're going to have to make a decision. Do they keep Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror or 
do they recast him? Obviously, you cannot get rid of his character. Kang is the big bad of the entire multiverse saga. You can't just say, all right, well, we're done with that character. We need a big bad. It has to be Kang. They've already set him up. They've already introduced the Council of Kangs. So Kang is here no matter what, whether he's played by Jonathan Majors or somebody else. But right now, Jonathan Majors is innocent until proven guilty, and I think that's the stance that Marvel Studios is taking. They're pretty much waiting to see what happens in court. And the next court date is May 8th, which is less than a month away. However, I have to assume that Marvel Studios is going on as planned, like Jonathan Majors is going to be sticking around, especially if they are going to keep him in the Loki season two trailer. And that thing is filmed. It's done. They have filmed everything they need for that show. Jonathan Majors is a huge part of that show. And according to Grace Randolph, he is indeed in the trailer. So it does look like Marvel Studios is simply going on as if he's going to be innocent and nothing is going to change with their Kang the Conqueror. And he does play an excellent Kang the Conqueror. So expect that trailer for Loki season two in a few weeks. Now, unfortunately, I did mention we do have another delay that's been revealed for a Marvel Studios project. This one won't really affect the MCU, but it is a highly anticipated project, and that is X-Men 97, the animated series. Both insiders Can We Get Some Toast and Charles Murphy have both stated that they've heard X-Men 97 is getting delayed until next year, 2024. Now, at this point in time, we shouldn't be too shocked when we hear about delays coming from Marvel Studios. In this point, after Phase 4 and in the middle of Phase 5 in the MCU, Marvel Studios has pretty much decided not to rush things that aren't ready. And they are spacing out their projects that way their visual effects people aren't overworked and or rushed to finish something. So delays are good. Delays mean Marvel Studios is working harder to make it better. And I gotta say, X-Men 97, this is a show that I am super excited for and I think a lot of fans are really excited for as well. So we want this to be done right, so I'm okay with this. It does suck, of course, all the delays suck, but I would rather them get delayed and be better. Now to top it all off, unfortunately Guardians 3 is the end of the Guardians team that we know. Make no mistake, the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to continue to exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's the really good news. It just won't be the same team. Now, Chris Pratt has recently said in an interview that he doesn't think that he's done playing Star-Lord. He said that even if his character dies, they could still bring him back. And that's 100% true. We are in the multiverse saga. Even if a character dies, the same actor could come back and play a variant of that character, which is exactly why we're expecting to see so many different cameos in Avengers Secret Wars and why we're hoping that actors such as Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evan, they're all returning to play a variant of their respected characters. Or maybe even switch it up. Maybe Robert Downey Jr. is a Captain America variant in some universe. With the multiverse, anything is possible, which makes it so exciting. But going back to Guardians of the Galaxy, James Gunn has made some comments on Instagram recently that make us believe that maybe Rocket Raccoon isn't exactly as safe as we thought in Guardians 3. Now, I think everybody thinks that Drax is for sure going to die, but a lot of people, including myself, were thinking that Rocket Raccoon is going to live. James Gunn stated that he wanted to finish Guardians 3 because he wanted to finish the story of Rocket Raccoon, and he even said that he considers Rocket to be one of the main protagonists of the entire franchise. And Guardians 3 is pretty much about Rocket Raccoon, his story about how the High Evolutionary created him and now essentially wants him back. Now we know James Gunn is pretty active online, both on Instagram and Twitter, and he responded to a couple of comments recently. One of them stated, I hope Rocket dies, and James Gunn replied using an emoji that's the wide eyes emoji. Now we're not gonna look too into this because this could mean many different things. He could be stating, well, you better watch out, or he could be simply replying to the fact that this guy hates Rocket. However, he did reply to another comment that stated, about to piss me off when Rocket dies. If he does, they don't need to die. Send him off world for a bit. Simple, in which James Gunn replied, no one said he was going to die, but that's not how stories work. And that reminds us that James Gunn is a storyteller. And this reminds us that Rocket actually isn't completely safe. If the story calls for him dying, James Gunn's gonna kill him. If that's what the story needs, if that is the conclusion that he comes to, it's gonna happen. And James Gunn essentially reiterates here that you can't just send him off world and then just have him come back. That's not how his story 
for Guardians 3 works. Having said that though, I still don't think that Rocket Raccoon is going to die. I think Rocket is going to get somewhat of a happy ending and be one of the survivors. I do believe some Guardians are going to die, Drax included, maybe even Star-Lord, maybe Mantis, which is gonna break my heart. Although I think the biggest one is going to be Rocket. If he dies, I think a lot of hearts are going to be breaking and some big tears are definitely going to be happening. But hey, let us know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Do you think Rocket Raccoon will die? If not, who do you think is going to bite the bullet in Guardians 3? And let us know your thoughts on these upcoming trailers, the Marvels, Loki Season 2. Let us know how excited you are for these to finally come. Don't forget to like the video, please, and of course, subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the latest MCU news and enter our giveaway. You can always follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.